So in this learning, we will talk more about the variables. But here right now I am in a data view and we have opened the same file numeric variable.sav and I will enter this data. So after the previous learning, let us go to variable view. I have made few changes in these two variables, gender and income. And uh, the changes are like this. I redesigned this uh, value labels for gender. One is male, two is female, 98 is do not know, 99 is not available. And then I reclassified the income, the family income, the monthly family income into these categories, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, which are clearly defined here and 98 for refused to supply the uh, family income information and 99 is not available. So before talking about other data types, first of all, enter this data. So SPSS makes this data entry very easy. I click here and I can pick from here. The first uh, respondent is male. Second is also male. The third respondent is uh, female. So this way you can enter your data. So this way we can enter all our data, right? Similarly, we can enter the income data, right? So respondent comes into a family whose family income is in this range, 1000 to 2999. Similarly, the income of other respondents is entered here. So we have entered, so we have entered here all the gender data and the income data for all the respondents. We can click save here. And uh, this is the syntax which SPSS runs to, pro uh, to carry out the procedure. We can close this one and may not save it. So let us now go to the variable view. And mostly we were talking extensively about this uh, variable type numeric. Right. But now we will talk about other uh, variable types as well. For example, I am uh, here putting an expenditure data type, expenditure variable, I should say, and press tab. And by default, we see that SPSS has made it as numeric variable, but I want to make it as a comma variable, right? And uh, let me click here okay and let us go to the data variable and in expense if i enter say the expenses of the month are two thousand three hundred fifty six dollars and sixty cents and press tab you see the comma type of variable has done what comma type of variable places comma after the after the three three digits right so comma are the numeric data values where comma is used as the grouping separator and this dot is used as the decimal separator right so this is comma type of variable it is one of the numeric variables let us go and let us now create one more variable. Suppose I want to create one variable. Let us call it a travel expense variable. Right. And uh, I press tab and I want to make it a, as a dot variable. Right. So let us go to the data view save this maybe that is a good idea close this one click no and now travel expense i am entering my travel expenses say travel expenses are three thousand dollars and press tab and you see that this dot variable has done amazing thing it is placing dot as a grouping separator and comma as a decimal separator 
you must be wondering why we need that actually some parts of europe uh, in countries like france croatia they place comma as decimal separator and they use dot as a grouping separator so if uh, you happen uh, to be working for uh, those uh, regions then you will use uh, dot operators so in this learning let us go to variable view we talked about two more variables comma variable and dot variable type and in the next learning we will talk about the other variables